Tolls also represent a huge invasion of privacy, right? Because now everything's all electronic. You all have heard about all these text tags and easy pass and everywhere you go, right? They want everything electronic. Well, now they're using something also called congestion pricing. And we're not used to that on our traditional turnpikes here in Texas. What that means is the price of the toll varies based on the level of congestion on your surrounding free roads and the congestion and level in the toll lane. So during peak hours, when everyone actually has to get to work, you're going to pay the most because there's more congestion on the road. So there, it's basically a way for the government or these private companies to totally profit off congestion. Do they have a motivation to actually solve congestion? <laughs> if they can profit from the congestion? I don't think so. So this is social engineering. Because what uh, congestion pricing really means, because it involves HOV stuff too, now you have to have three people in your car to get a free ride. And on Sintra's Road in the Metroplex, you only get a discounted ride if you have three people in your car. Still don't get a free ride. In fact, if there's only two people in your car on Sintra's lanes, the taxpayers have to foot the bill for the difference between two people in your car and three people in your car. That's how they get us to guarantee all the profits, right? Then we found out the state of New York, what a shock, right? Liberal New England. Well, they said that they've been toll or tracking citizens using their toll tags on non-toll roads and even the surrounding states, not even within New York, but outside New York. And they've been doing this for more than a decade with this technology. Then you've heard about this toll collection nightmare, I'm sure, in some of the papers, because it is a nightmare. They charge you a $25 transaction fee if you don't have a tag in your car. So they really try to press you and force you into this tracking, government tracking, which is bit really important for that millennial generation. You and I may not care much about it, although I do. Um, I don't want the government tracking where I go. They sell that data, they get all this money off of it, it's all this data mining and everything, so it's crazy. Well, this $25 transaction fee, if you pay cash, you have to pay 33 to 50% more for your tolls than if you do the government tracking route. So that's one of the ways they force you into having to get one of their toll tags. Then, you probably heard about these billing mistakes. Okay, they talk about these toll scoo flaws, like you're this evil criminal for not paying your tolls. And they say you have to have a hundred violations, and if they do, they post your name all over the papers, and they can impound your car, and they can block your car registration and make you sound like this awful person. Let's look at how fast you can rack up a hundred toll violations by accident. You have a debit or credit card, it expires. They send you a new one. It's got a new number. See, he's had it happen to him. You get a new number because the card expired. You forget to immediately notify the toll authorities. You get your bill, but every time you pass under a toll gantry, which is usually every two to three miles, that's considered a toll transaction. So you might have one trip to work one way, end up being five toll transactions. So in 30 days, you can easily rack up 100 toll violations by a complete innocent mistake, and you can literally have DPS stop you on these toll roads and will impound your car on the spot and literally leave you standing on the side of the road because of the, the way they changed the law to allow them to collect these tolls. They're, we're now using our law enforcement to be our state's toll collector. It's pitiful. And if you don't pay, you become a criminal. So we're criminalizing drivers through a lot of these toll roads. We're giving up a lot of freedom by doing this. So where do we get this, the revenue if we need more <coughs> revenue, right? We want some solutions. How do we fix this road funding crisis? 